<laughs> Welcome to Las Vegas Living. I'm Coco. I'm Rebecca. We are here to help you. We are in real estate. We are licensed California, Nevada. We are here to help you get to where you need to go. And thank you for showing up today. We are in real estate. <laughs> that is what we do. Sometimes. Not all the time. <laughs> Sometimes we sing. <laughs> That's coming. Sorry. Stay tuned for that one. <laughs> if you're just coming on board for the first time, please hit the like and subscribe button. These are things I'm supposed to be paid to say. Right. right? And there's a bell in there, so you gotta ding, ding it. Bell. Ding, ding, ding. We know real estate and we know squirrels. And we're really good at them together. Oh yeah. So if you're looking <laughs> to do real estate and you want to have a good time and get treated really well, we're the ones to help you. That we'll even tell you the truth. What? Oh yeah. There's <laughs> Honesty. The no BS real estate. Bing, bing. <laughs> Speaking of which, yeah, we're going to tell you the truth. Everything you need to know about Centennial Hills. And if you don't know where Centennial Hills is, it's a little north. Not north Las Vegas. Northwest Las Vegas. So Centennial Hills is so great. Why do people want to move there? Because it's, in a lot of ways, it's like Summerlin, but nicer. What? Who said that? More sprout. Can I, can I tell them a little secret? I think you should. Do you want to know why you want to live in Centennial Hills? Because I'm listening. Because we live there. Ah! It's amazing. It's beautiful. There's bigger lots. Lots of shopping. Lots of everything around you more spread out clean clean nice air mm -hmm. you're close to everything but you're far away from everyone at the same time exactly oh man i like it you can really you're on your way up you could go to mount charleston from here pretty quickly if you wanted to right a ton of golfing have we been doing golfing before in our we, we're gonna do listen stay tuned we're doing a whole show just on the golfing i think we should we are because you know there's like there's a lot of coming soon here. there's a lot of coming soon yeah yeah, golfing, that's a whole other issue. But if you like golfing, you like being outdoors, you like shopping, look, you're, you have every modern piece available that you would have in any major city, like even Los Angeles or you know New York. We've got literally your walking distance to Trader Joe's. Right. You've got- Sprouts. Yep. Sam's Club, Costco. Kohl's. Lots of food to eat, Target, Walmart. Not that we like food and more food. There's a sportsman's warehouse out here, I think, too. For sure, right across the way. You've got all the different little communities. What's cool about the communities up here, although they're gated, they're, they're gated because of the desire to have more open space and not because there's some concern about the security of the area. It's really what it's, it's about is just more privacy. Right. And I, that's one thing I really love about Centennial Hills. It is so fun to live here. You've got great views. Oh, the views. Hi. Hi. They're highs. <laughs> Speaking of high, <laughs> the prices are not. What? <laughs> oh yeah, super affordable. You can get like compared to LA, if you're doing Centennial Hall's comparison to LA, you can literally get the same house style, like a $1.5 million house in LA, in the San Fernando Valley, that similar style house in Centennial Hills from 1.5, you're talking probably between six and seven. It's like, it's like half the price. It is. And you get- Big chunk of land. Big chunk of land. So, so I'm gonna tell you a little story. Woo -woo. Once upon a time, when I was moving from California to Las Vegas, I'm listening. I had this friend, realtor, her name was Coco. Not sure if you've heard of her or not. Did you write me a review? <laughs> Damn, shut up. Did I? <laughs> Give me a testimonial, will you? <laughs> my moving situation was a little more complicated just because we had to bring my mom with us because my dad had passed away. So trying to get my husband and my mom to agree on a house. By the way, real quick, since you brought up your dad. Yes. How many purple hearts? Three purple hearts, my friends, and a bronze star. I love that man. He is a good guy. Thank you for his service. Why are you bring that up? Baltarian crap. Because it was awesome. <laughs> Gotta break it up. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Okay. Dry All right. Got Dry a heart tears. for it. I got Woo! a heart for it. Okay. So anyway. Yes. So my mom and, and my husband trying to find a house is like oil and water. 
right? Well, yeah. So we find this house and, and I show it to them and I'm attracted to it. I'm like, oh, I really like this house, something about it. And sometimes when you know, you know. So I show both of them and they agree on it. And <laughs> so I send it to Coco. She's like, what the hell is this? Like nothing to do with <laughs> anything we talked about. <laughs> wasn't single story it wasn't down by the south end of the valley it had nothing to do with anything we had discussed nope wasn't the right age it wasn't the right and it wasn't the right it wasn't the same price but sometimes you just go okay sure not a problem so she tells me well i just went to this place centennial hills She's like, Rebecca, you wouldn't believe it out here. Like her reaction to it, like her genuine first reaction of coming to this specific area was, it was hilarious. It was discovery, <laughs> I have to like, tell you, because yes. there's so many different places you can go to, but you go somewhere, it was like love at first sight. Right. Mm -hmm. And so guess where, that's where we live now. <laughs> you, know, you get good chunks of land, you know, yeah. that's a big difference. You get security. I feel like it's really safe out this direction. It is. It is. And there's just more of a combination of elements kind of between, oh, you know, it feels like you have like this cross between ranch living, resort living, and city living. So I don't really know how to describe that. So it's a really nice combination. You said something. You said something. What did I say? You said ranch. Ranch. And then so I have to say what's 30 seconds from our place. Bob Ranch House. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, Bob. It was John Wayne's old hangout. Anyway, side note. Okay, there you go. John Wayne from Lancaster, California. <laughs> Just saying. So weird. And one we, high desert to the other. One high desert to the other. Eh, he was flexible this way. And, and we were familiar with both. Oh, strange. It's almost like we fall. We're, so what you're saying is we're just like John Wayne. <laughs> we're just like John Wayne. I feel just like that. Cowboy. <sighs> Cowboy. I think I just read about his five rules. <laughs> what? He had five rules of life. Oh, where are they? Basically about stupid people. <laughs> Again, we're just like John Wayne. Don't let the stupid people invade your brain. It's cool. It's, it's, cool. it's all good. Centennial yeah. Hills, though, clean, big, wide streets. Yes. Nice, big homes. Yes. Right off the 215 freeway. Actually, what's great about Centennial Hills, let's say that, is that you can easily get on the 95 or the 215. Oh yeah. I'm a fan of the 215, just because it flows much easier than the 95, because the 95 will drop you on the 15 down by the strip. But the 215 kind of takes you out a little bit before it drops you into the 15. So. Yeah, the 95 is gonna keep you very city oriented and yes. very strip oriented. And then once you go off of that, you go into Summerlin Parkway or go to the two. I love the 215 too, I, because I do. you just go on the outskirts, you get to see all the beautiful parts of of the city. Now, how bizarre is that someone could say to you, they designed the freeway and made a beautiful impact on the community. They did. <laughs> they dug it down when they put the, the road in, they dug it down deep. So you don't have the communities nearby that get to hear the sounds of the traffic. So. The way that they designed it was so so right on. They did a great job for the driver and the residents because the the impact on the community for the sound and the environment is so minimal. And at the same time, when you're driving, you don't even realize. It feels like you're in the middle of nowhere. It does. It, and you're really not, but it feels like it the way they designed it. Right. It's really cool. It's, I do. I Who likes that. a freeway? Who likes a freeway? I, I do. I like the <laughs> But I have to say also, so speaking of that, headed down to the city life, in Centennial Hills, there's a couple streets, and being one of them, um, is it? Lake Mead. Lake Mead, and isn't there Lone Mountain, right? Heck yeah. Lone Mountain. You, you actually have strip views. Yeah, you do. Like, they actually, they level the houses correctly where it's not interfering, and you have a beautiful strip view at night. They did a fine job making sure that you got a real value out of being in the community and enjoying the community, which, you know, a lot of times you don't get. And a lot of the homes in these areas too, a lot of the that specific parameter within Centennial Hills, they don't have an HOA. So you can get a lot of homes with no no requirements for like CCNRs and making sure that you're following rules on specific things. 
which is a pro or a con, depending on where you're coming from with it. I mean, if you live next door to the guy who's got the purple polka dot house, you may not love it. Or you're the guy with the purple polka dotted house and you love it. Right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't really see that though, to be you, honest with you. You could live next to that guy with the garage house. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's this guy. There's his house. Oh, really cool. It's so cool. It's so good. I mean, I'm not a I have garage envy. Right. I, who has garage envy? But it, you know, it has the tall RV garage and then this other I garage. Think that's, that's uncommon for a straight, for a straight woman. I, know. I, just, I still have garage envy. <laughs> it's just really cool the way he did it. That's for sure. It's so, so nice. And if you drive Ann, you get to see it every day. You do. Right. That's true. Except guess what's happening on Ann right now? Construction. 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 Lots of it. Cool A lot detours. of construction. Yeah. Construction. Yeah. But the good news is it's construction, so you're gonna get it to the to the gateway to the next place. Right. Which by the way, to the next place up would be Sky Canyon. Don't even get me started on Sky Canyon. That's a whole other segment. And after the island of Sky. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Yes. But Centennial Hills is a really great place to live. It's a really great place to enjoy. It has, talk about being able to get from one place to the other without right. traffic. It's outside of the timed lights. Let's face it. Yeah, the timed lights. Not censored. It's lame. It's not a um, but anyway. We should go to the city. Just saying. There's a lot of cool stuff about right. it. It's very convenient. It is very convenient. And the fact that, like we said, Costco, Sam's Club, every eating place manageable, imaginable, imaginable. Imaginable. Shopping. It's 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 a really great place. Yeah. What is your what is your favorite shopping location or place to go to with the family within the area? <laughs> well my son loves Target. <laughs> there you go. So Sky Point, which is from, right around the corner from my house. Yeah, it's, it's probably a minute drive if you hit traffic right and you don't get stopped at the stop signs. You're it's, close to everything. It's, you're close to everything. So it's just a quick drive and then Chase is right there. Vons is right there. Um, and then, but if you go the other direction, we have Albertsons mm -hmm. right there. I mean, like the grocery stores, there's no lack of grocery stores. That's for sure. One of the favorite things I like about Centennial Hills is the wildlife. Okay, no, I'm not talking about the people. They're not. <laughs> they can be wildlife all among themselves. That's true. One of the things that I love is the nature, right? So you've got these ridiculously huge, over the top size lizards. I, I don't know like, what kind of lizard that is. It's not an iguana, but stripey. it seems like one. They're crazy. And they're everywhere. 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 Right, you've got the lizards, you've got the chipmunks, and you have bunny rabbits. Yeah, bunny rabbits, not rabbits. They're bunny rabbits. Wabbits. Wabbits, they're so cute. Birds. <laughs> oh yeah, birds everywhere. You know, hummingbirds, sparrows, grackles, quail. If you like the wildlife. Isn't there one that starts with an F? Finches. Finches! Finches and sparrows, yes. Yeah. They're all over the place. Pretty cool. So if you like to be entertained by all that, you'll get that. And again, you get this really unique opportunity to experience extreme weather as well. Yes. Uh, yeah, we get, we get more extreme weather up here, right? Than, we, than they do like more by the Strip or Summerlin or South yeah. because we're higher. And the, since you have the mountain nearby, so you've got everything coming off the top of the mountain, right? And then it drops to the valley below. So you have the experience of the hot and the cold, which bam, is the lightning and the thunder. The wild thunderstorm comes through. Flash flood warnings. They're not really flash floody, they're, but no. they're flash flood warnings. They still give you the warning. Yes. I mean, I'm, I haven't experienced anything dangerous. Hey, if that's my danger compared to an earthquake in California, I'll take it, because I sit outside. Zero. <laughs> Enjoy the I weather. I sit outside and watch it all. Yes. It's so amazing. And you'll get snow. You will get snow. Who knew? And you're still, what, 15, what, what like, depending on where you're going to go, if you're going to go to, like, Summerlin, it's like 10 miles. It's like 10 miles north of Summerlin, right? But it's still off the 215. Right. Because you can actually take Summerlin Parkway off the 215. Heck yeah. So it takes you right into Summerlin. And it's a beautiful drive. And it's a beautiful drive. And that there's homes being built everywhere. Everywhere. <clears throat> everywhere you want to be. It's a good place to be. It is. Come and see us in Centennial Hills. That's right. We should have like an old song. Like I hear like a banjo playing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come and see us. 
Peterson Centennial Hills. <laughs> Instead of the Beverly Hills Billies, you're the Centennial Hill Billies. <laughs> if that's what people think, hey, whatever, but I'll tell you what. All day long, every day, I'll be here. It's, it is a beautiful place to live. It is nice. The cost of living is great. And gas is pretty darn reasonable considering for the rest of the valley. Right. So you can get to everywhere from here. You're right across from Nellis. It's like directly across um, the northern portion of the valley. So you can get to Nellis Air Force Base diagonally. If you were to picture it on a map, it is the complete polar opposite of Henderson. That's true. 100%. Yeah, so if you're a Henderson fan, you might want to come and check it out. Yeah. I'm just making a point. You might like it. Yeah, and I think if you, for me, because I am such a landmark person, and I know... Landmark! And I know the Red Rock Casino. So, what, the Red Rock is south, maybe 20 minutes. Off it's such a fast drive. It's like a no-brainer, right? And the same goes for the Aliante. The Aliante is like, oh, yeah. what, 10 miles max, 8 miles? North. Yeah, it's, but it's like, it's it's northeast from here. So, again, get on the 215 and go east. Yeah. You're on your way. Yeah. It's good times. Yeah, go east. Go east, young man, go east. <laughs> I give it five stars. Or oh, it's ten. a five stars, five stars, <laughs> five stars. So, I think that we've really, we said a lot about Centennial Hills. I think we did. But remember, don't forget, we are professional real estate Agents, agents here to help you. <laughs> we are agents. No, we are agents. We're obviously you're going to have a good time with us. We're going to tell you the truth. We're going to answer your calls. We're going to answer your texts even faster. But we're the ones that actually answer and help you out. Yes, we do. Yeah, you're not going to get any malarkey. Well, you'll get a little bit of this kind of malarkey, but you won't get the malarkey about, you know, what's not working. We're going to take care of making sure you're told the truth. So that's super helpful. So if you want to know what's going on, tune in, subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. What other things are there? Make a comment below. Yeah. Oh. But only if it's positive. <laughs> we'll cry if it's negative. I mean, if it's negative. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> you hurt my feelings a lot. But okay. I can take it. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, we're here for your suggestions on any other places you want to see. Stay tuned. We're going to be dropping two more in the next week. Hang tight. We've got a lot more to go. And uh, we can't wait to show you the rest. So stay tuned. We'll see you next time on Las Vegas Living. Boom, boom. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Edgeland Properties International. The possibilities are edgeless. 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 Should we make a comment about how my hair changed again? <laughs>